very good morning to all the students of class 103 good afternoon rather so uh let's start our new poem animals before i discuss about the word meanings about the theme about the poet and all before that i would like to ask uh, how many of you on the pets uh, how many of you have animal uh, please you are raising a dog or cat or any other creature those those who are having please raise your hand i just i'm not going to ask you anything i'm just asking because the the children uh, those who are being raised along with some you can say pet at home they know that how they behave how many of you have pet dogs at home okay this tell me i'm just going to announce the names i'm not going to ask anything aapki class waisi dar jati hai kisi ke paas nahi hai pet dog mehak is having That's all. जरूरत ही नहीं है ना एनिमल्स की हम खुद ही है सो सी वन ऑफ दी अदर सम चिल्ड्रन माइट बी हैविंग सम पैट्स एट होम सो मै है कैन यू टेल मी दैट डज योर डॉग यू माइट बी हैविंग अ डॉग यू जस्ट टेल मी डज योर डॉग डिमांड एनी थिंग फ्रॉम यू is he loving or what sort of pet your dog is can you hear me mehak your voice is not audible okay you can mute yourself beta you can mute yourself your voice is not at all audible you can mute beta no problem uh, mahak was uh, speaking something but it's not audible so yes snail uh, good <laughs> so bisam is telling us he had a pet snail but uh, his mom threw it away after 5 minutes so you had a pet for 5 minutes and that's funny okay so you might have got it from somewhere and your parents might have asked you to leave it okay so that's your part uh because of some network issue she could not speak so let me tell uh you know whether it's dogs or cats to whom you are raising at home you might have observed you know if we have raised some animals at home then we can you know relate that how loving they are you know i have also raised two dogs So that's why even I know. So I'm just telling you with personal experience that how dogs are uh, and other animals. Animals here doesn't mean that particular animal dog. Why I'm naming dog here because most of us, you know, we have dogs as pet at home or cats or some other animal. But we we do not have all the animals obviously. So here, poet uh, Walt Whitman is going to talk about uh, animals that how loving they are, how uh, you can say. uh they never have the you know have that quality of you can say or you can say bad uh, quality of uh, having jealousy or envy about others or being ungrateful to us so means whatever circumstances are there they always you know demand love from us affection so that's why i was saying when you have raised an animal you will know that how they just demand love they do not ask for any materialistic thing and all but we human beings we have started comparing our you know the matter the better the material uh, materialistic things we are getting from our parents our uh, relatives our friends and more friendship and love we are showing more affection we are showing but if you are not getting anything materialistic then we become so ungrateful towards them we keep on craving all the time for what we do not have fine so uh, the main message of this poem fine so this poem animals is written by an american poet walt whitman clear still students are joining see 10 minutes ho gaye so a uh, poet tells us that he feels more uh, comfortable with animals than human beings you know these days you can rely upon animals but not human beings so this poem is actually a comparison and contrast both comparison means the similar qualities contrast means different traits so this poem tells us about comparison between animals and humans number 
animals are much better than humans according to walt whitman that american poet animals are much better than human beings why because human beings have evil intentions but animals do not have evil intentions against others animals are non complaining creatures they never complain for what they do not have they are happy with what they have you give them a bread crumbs to sparrows you give them bread uh, to eat immersed in the milk to the dog or cat you give them whatever to eat they will relish it they will not complain you animals are non complaining creatures but humans always whine fine whine means cry they keep on cribbing mama has made parantha oh mujhe parantha nahi kha raha i want to eat that okay aapne ye kyun nahi banaya jo banaya hai you should be grateful for that fine okay teacher has scolded me teacher has praised me n number of times and now today she scolded me because of my bad behavior ab wo aapko yaad rahega to you become complaining so in n number of circumstances we people are ungrateful towards others fine chahe it's not about teachers mothers and parents and siblings it's about all means we always please note down these things please we are always are ungrateful towards others fine we are always you know cribbing about one thing or the other what we do not have so sorry one of the greatest message this poem is conveying that please be grateful for what you have and don't crib for what you don't have what we are doing is jo nahi hai uske liye hum apna time waste kar rahe hain ab puri energy we are wasting day and night we are thinking about the things we want to have but what you are having enjoy that relish that those moments those things those you can say uh, aura that you need to enjoy rather than complaining ki mere paas ye nahi hai wo nahi hai fine so the behavior or and we are very pretentious human beings are very pretentious they become your friends on face but actually they are the ones who are you know biting the backs of others on one time we're talking to the other person and the same person we are biting the back so animals are the way wo hum kehte hain na animalistic behavior hai aqal nahi but at least animals are animals are true to what they are they never pretend if they are killing other animals one animal eats other creature also but they are in front of you they are doing this they are not hiding it we people are doing murders also we people are uh, you can say saying bad words also we people are doing wrong doings are there but under the garb we are not doing in front openly fine so we are very dubious we have double standards we are pretentious but animals they are what they are they are not going to hide it fine so this is one of the message also so please note down beta these word meanings when these words will be clear to you then poem poem will be very much easy for you so please note down pleasant calm or peaceful wine matlab keep on cribbing and crying fine wine means to cry sins sins means jo aap aap karte ho wrong doings fine demented demented means when you are so sad you know when you are disturbed Saddened out of this demented means that kneels means bow down. जब आप झुकते हो किसी के सामने you you fold your hands or you bent down in that way kneels means bow down. Avens avens means to show. Then tokens tokens otherwise they are gestures. You know tokens means tokens of love. You might have heard tokens here here in this context it means qualities. Okay in the context of this poem otherwise tokens doesn't mean qualities but in the context of the poem it is. then mania mania means madness you know total uh, into the thing then negligently means carelessly okay negligent behavior is carelessly have you noted down beta jaldi se bataiye have you noted down word meanings and themes of the poem animals written by american poet walt whitman actually this poem is an extraction from song of myself in leaves of grass तो वॉल्ट विटमैन ने एक का एक ही वर्क है दिस इज वन ऑफ द वर्क्स ऑफ वॉल्ट विटमैन दे हैव मेंशन इन योर बुक बेटा आपकी जो बुक का पेज नंबर 83 है प्लीज खोल के बैठिए सामने पेज नंबर 83 उसके लास्ट में देखिए वॉल्ट विटमैन जहां पे लिखा है फ्रॉम सॉन्ग ऑफ माय सेल्फ इन लीव्स ऑफ ग्रास सो दिस पोएम इज टेकन एनिमल्स पोएम इज टेकन फ्रॉम इज वन ऑफ द अदर वर्क्स 
रिटर्न बाय वॉल्ट विटमैन ओनली उसमें से उठा के सिलेबस में आपके डाल दी गई है सो यू शुड नो दिस थिंग ऑल्सो ओके सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर द स्क्रीन प्रथम यू हैव ज्वाइन आफ्टर सो मेनी डेज सी सो प्लीज बी रेगुलर इन योर क्लासेस प्लीज बी रेगुलर मेरा स्क्रीन इज विजिबल टू यू ऑल प्लीज टेल मी animals screen is visible show me the feedback quickly manmeet singh vanita divyansh isha preet bisam saksham grover fine chaliye so let's start this poem animals so in this poem beta uh wait let me just enlarge this yes the poet tells us that he feels for more at home at home ka meaning kya hota hai at home means comfortable so it's a phrase of english if i say i feel at home with you agar main aapko bolu i feel at home with you it means at home means comfortable okay obviously the way you people are feeling at home at your home fine in that way so feels at home means you feel comfortable the poet tells us that he feels more at home with animals than humans whom he finds complicated and false so in the beginning he has given some bad qualities you can say bad traits of human personality that they are complicated why they are complicated but hame samajh mein nahi aata hai wo kaise hain they pretend to be good but the, later on they do they do not turn out to be good so they are complicated human personalities are very difficult to understand so he says that it it is difficult to understand humans because they are complicated and they are false they are not true wait screen i think let's do the first stanza i think i could turn and live with animals they are so placid and self contained i stand and look at them long and long so in the first stanza in the few lines these uh, two three lines poet uh, walt whitman says that i think according to the poet uh, he says that he uh, you know can live with animals he is comfortable with animals fine and why because they are so peaceful placid means calm we have done the word meanings fine they are so calm they are so at peace they are placid self contained means self satisfied fine self contained means self satisfied they are not at all you know having this satisfaction of anything so they are so cool and calm, calm and peaceful and self satisfied that's why whenever i get time i stand and i look at them i keep on staring at them for longer period i try to spend according to poet walt whitman that animals are much better than human beings because they are so peaceful they are so calm they are so self satisfied that's why i extract a time out of my life to just look at them for longer period okay see this second stanza they do not sweat and whine about their condition sweating you know that वैसे तो perspiration को बोल देते हैं but here it means a uh, poet says that they do not crib they do not cry fine about the condition they are in they never crib and you know we keep on complaining acha mere paas yeh nahi hai uh, why me god fine all the time why this happens to me only we keep on you know cribbing about one thing my extra period kyu lag gaya you know in school you say that okay why aaj padhao mat aaj mere padhna nahi maine bahut zyada pad liya so keep on cribbing one or the other thing we keep on finding without any reason at home also you keep on thinking about the things which you do not have and you know social media is playing very good good or the bad part in this because comparison has jumped in we are doing something good to others we are you know putting on social media we are doing you know we are saving the animals we are giving alms to the beggars we are helping the needy wo bhi sab dal rahe hain 
ठीक है उसका एक आप कोई वीडियोस देखे शायद आप में भी अच्छा ही आ जाए क्योंकि आई विल डू द सेम द थिंग बट रादर देन शोइंग ऑफ वी शुड डू इट विदाउट शोइंग ऑफ टू अदर्स वन प्रोटेंशियस एम बहुत ज्यादा and we keep on whining uh, you know see that person has checked in there that person has gone there why can't i go point we keep on comparing ourselves with others we keep on cribbing about our present condition hamesha hame dusre better lagte hain hame khud kyu nahi better lagte you compare yourself with your personality only that how you have improved yourself point so they do not sweat why walt whitman likes animals he says they do not whine they do not cry about their condition they do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins very beautiful lines firstly human beings they do commit sins wrong things they do wrong things all of us and then after you have done something wrong you have cheated upon someone you have spoken against someone you have uh, disrespected someone you have insulted someone any kind of wrong doing if you have done and you know we know in our heart of hearts hame pata hota hai ki maine galat kiya hai but you know our ego think we it does not let us tell uh, do anything so they do not lie awake in the dark and we for their sins see some students are still uh, having network issues so please check your network those who are not able to join pc they do not lie awake in the dark and we for their sins means animals uh, do not commit sins in that way they do not lie awake in the dark and we for their sins we people do human beings they keep on committing sins keep on doing wrong things and then then they uh, stay awake at night and we for their sins they cry for their sins at night throughout the night and they keep on crying in the dark oh my god please forgive me i have done this thing wrong please pardon me they request they plead in front of the god they do not make me sick discussing their duty to god so they you know uh, something bad happens you know to us and we keep on complaining to god okay god why me why me why you have done this to me please do this please give me that please give me we keep on giving demands in front of the god poet is saying animals they hear means animals they do not make me sick it means animals do not make him feel bad uh, they, because they never discuss their duties to god wo to nahi god ko kehte ki humne aisa kyu banaya we human beings complain to god why my face is like that why I, i'm fat why i'm not at all like him or her why i look like that find why i do not have more money why i do not have this uh, thing materialistic we people are so materialistic find we are into this uh, uh, how one looks and how one does not so poet is saying that animals never make me feel bad they never make me feel sick we because we they never discuss their duty to god no one is dissatisfied not even one animal is there who is dissatisfied not one is demented with the mania of owning things demented see disturbed we people most of us are demented and disturbed just because we want to accumulate something ab dekh lo apne aas paas hi nazar ghuma ke You know, uh, one person uh, we want to accumulate wealth. So, the most important thing is to accumulate money. Then, secondly, we want to accumulate materialistic things. I want to own clothes, more and more clothes, and bags, and shoes, and branded things, and iPhones, and you know, we keep on pretending the things. Because I do have this thing. I do, I'm checking, you know, over there. Ah, uh, ye hotel. Wo, wo means every one of us. I'm not excluding myself from this. We all of us. I'm talking about all. we all are into owning the things and there is a mad race for this mania create ho gaya cheezon ka but animals are not into this mad race animals are not in, into this mad race of possessing the things of being the owners of the things they are not at all disturbed unko bas khana mil jaye pyar mil jaye apne owner ka utna hi bahut hota hai if somebody talks to them sweetly and they become so nice they keep on wagging their tails or somehow else they show their gestures they just demand love food is required food is the basic thing that they will demand no problem but 
there is no they are not asking that uh, we want this from this hotel and restaurant we want this branded uh, object to eat only this particular uh, sweet dish to eat only or that eatable we want they just whatever you give them they accept it and then they are happy the stomach should be full that's it so they are not into this mad race firstly why poet walt whitman likes the animals they do not crave about their condition they are satisfied with what they have they do not uh, you know create uh, that they do not stay awake in the dark uh, they do not discuss their duties to god they do not you know pray to god asking them for forgiveness for their sins they have committed some sin in front of all that's all they will not pretend that they have not done anything and they are not into the mad race of owning the things also okay so this is what we have done in this not one kneels kneels means bow down kisi ke samne jhukna you might have seen not one kneels to another not to his kind that lived thousands of years ago not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth so they show their relations to me and i accept them they bring me tokens of myself they evince them plainly in their possession please try to understand carefully you might have seen that in our society we bow down in front of some people by seeing their prestige their post their money and so on we keep on bowing down in front of others keep on kneeling down ki acha wo to is post pe hai is so you know humble in front of them and when it comes to uh, a person who is not at all on prestige post who's very simple uh, down to earth usko to hum kuch samajhte hi nahi hai you know by seeing the post we treat people differently more rich more respect less rich less respect poor ki to baat hi chhod do no respect at all clear so he is saying that animals do not do this they do not bow down in front of each other ye animal usse better hai ye usse better hai iske samne bow down karo no not to his kind that lived thousands of years ago so they are not into this practice fine and not to his kind that lived thousands of years ago means here thousands of years ago means ancestors purvaj he is saying that they never do so even for their ancestors you know हम शो करते हैं कि वो हम ना बहुत बुजुर्गों की रिस्पेक्ट कर रहे हैं बट इन हार्ट ऑफ हार्ट वी आर थ्रोइंग दम आउट ऑफ दाउसेस वाई वी हैव ओल्ड एज होम्स दिन ओल्ड एज होम का होना ही एक धब्बा है इट मीन्स वेन यू ग्रो अप यू आर सेंडिंग यूर पेरेंट्स आउट ऑफ दोम दो वन रेज यू एंड बिकॉज जस्ट बिकॉज दे हैव बिकम इल जस्ट बिकॉज दे हैव बिकम चाइल्डिश we think that we cannot bear them at home so we throw them out of their houses or we keep on cribbing while serving to them remember one day they also served you when you were a child so he is saying that human beings jo hai wo apne ancestors ke samne jhukte hain theek hai karte hain dramas and all but animals are not like that they are crystal clear they do not bow down by seeing the prestige and post they do not bow down by seeing even their ancestors not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth so they do not show devotion towards god also fine they are not at all respectable towards any other because at least they are clear they are not having dubious attitude ki respect show karo par andar se you are rebuking the person so they are what they are they show their relations to me and i accept them so poet says that they are not like humans and you know whatever they they present to me as they are they show their relations to me and the way they show whatever relation they have with the poet and i accept them the way they are they bring me tokens of myself fine means they bring uh, so how they you know uh, Uh, reflect how they show their love towards the owner or the love towards 
human beings find they show their tokens of myself they are just being themselves they are not being someone else jaise hum ban jate hain events means show find they show them plainly in their possession so they show whatever they possess clearly they are not faking about it find they evince them plainly in their possession i wonder where they get those tokens did i pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them at last poet is posing a question he animals have given me innumerable unfathomable unmeasurable love they have given me so many qualities i wonder where are these tokens now which i have received from these animals have i passed it to someone else huge times ago kya ye mai tokens of love tokens of respect and tokens of you know this uh, being yourself have i given to someone or i have dropped somewhere in the past kahan gaya ye theek hai he is asking a question where we have lost it so animals are so true animals are so true in their relations in their what they are and poet is wondering whether he has lost those qualities uh, in the past or he has negligently carelessly dropped them or he has given it to someone else clear so now daksh is uh, coming I'm, i will not make them such students join yes beta is it clear send me feedback jaldi se any doubt to anyone if any doubt you can type in the chat box or you can raise hand so we need to do literary devices also but hamare paas aaj time nahi hai clear so what we are going to do is we will do literary devices tomorrow uh, literary devices which are used in this poem animals along with that a brief uh, description again we will do in the uh, tomorrow and then we will discuss literary devices and question answer so you will be uh, so beta this chap this poem ends at introspection ye point zero note karna this is the introspection what is introspection self analysis so this is a question to all of us fine he says that from where the animals got those qualities unke paas kahan se aayi qualities the way god has made animals the god has made human beings also and why we have lost it where we have lost it so he wonders that humans gave up these qualities to someone else or they have passed it to someone else or they have dropped these qualities somewhere so question mark so this is a question we need to introspect ki hum animals se bhi badtar ho chuke hain the society of today's era is very bad so this is a question to all of us fine with this i will end this meet and tomorrow we will do literary devices have a nice day